Alright, so I finally got the electrical done. Today I did all the plug things. Um, that took a little while because um, I needed some help from my dad just for him to show me how to do it. And uh, we were really busy for a while. But I finally, he showed me how to do it today. I finally got it done. Um, and so I'll show you the house. The lights are working. I'll turn them on in a second. Basically, oh, I didn't show you that part. Let me show you this part first. Um, as you can see, I framed the roof here. It's because I was waiting to go to the store to buy these and the transformer, which is in the wall. Um, and uh, while I was waiting to go over there to do that, um, I had some free time, so I framed this roof. Uh, I didn't go all the way over. This will continue, but I stopped here just so I could access all this. Um, this is just the complicated part. Pretty much, it's this whole garage is a hip roof, which means all sides slant inward. And then there's this gable roof right here on the front, and it fades into it. And so this isn't all the framing, of course. I have to do all the um, rafters, but this is just the main parts of it. And it was kind of hard to figure out. And at the end of this video, I'm actually going to replay the time lapse from this, but really slow, so you can kind of see how I did it. But basically, as you can see, this lines up perfectly with that. Everything here is nice and flat on the right side. If you look, it all goes into one flat surface. If you look on this side, it's nice and flat. And then you have a ridge board here and a ridge board here, one's higher than the other, and then they join up right here. Now this thing I think should be turned like this a little bit. I might fix that. But um still pretty cool looking. Um that's obviously how you would do a roof in real life, how you would get them to join together. Um, and if you look at it here, um, these two line up. And so I'll show you the rest in a second. I'm going to actually have to replace the battery in my camera. All right, two batteries later. Okay, so I also did this large window. Um, by the way, if you go on my Facebook page, I have an album for this and for this of like the steps I did to do this. But basically it's one big window. There's not a seam where the floors intersect. Um, it's very nice. It is twisted this way. Um, that'll be easy to fix once I get these walls up. I'll just turn the top of it and uh, lock it into place. But um, for now it's a little bit twisted. But it is uh, straight up and down level and everything. So uh, that's going to look pretty neat. I also did some of the flooring here. Um, the first thing I did was I started here and I went across. And now the roof is what I'm focusing on right now, not the floor here. Because the roof um, is going to be right above this. And obviously, if there's going to be walls here, the, the wall needs to be straight so the roof can be straight. And ignore this bump out. Pretend it's not here. And this is just one big straight flat wall. And that's what the roof will slant up from, except for this bump. I'll just forget about that. So what I did to make this wall nice and straight was I made like a string line. I actually glued a wire right here, and I glued a wire right here. And I made the sticks go perfectly straight with that string line. And as you can see, it's perfectly straight. And then I just added this coming off of it. Now, all the other walls in the house are perfectly straight. So I wouldn't have had that problem. Um, the only reason, you know, like right there, that's straight for the most part. The only reason I had that problem here is because if you watched in my old vlogs, um, this right here, it actually, as it goes, it kind of goes in and then it comes back out. And so if you look closely, the siding up there is actually overlapping a little bit. So this wall... And I'm making it dramatic, but kind of goes in and then comes back out. And so it wouldn't have been straight. So I just did that to make it straight. So this uh, piece does overlap a little bit here, but that's not going to be a big deal. Because there's going to be a porch here, and this will all be a ceiling underneath. So you wouldn't have any idea. So that will be nice and straight with that. And now to show you the electrical. Um, so I just did this. I didn't even see it with the lights turned off yet. Basically all the wires come together and they plug in. I'll have more plugging in um, later when I get the upstairs done. And 
there are some lights that aren't in yet actually these two will be on a light switch that's right there I actually added one so there will be a light switch on either side of the garage door um, the left or the one on this side will do these two lights the one on this side will do these two lights so there will be four lights in the garage um, there's a light switch right here the right one is for the porch which the wires come out here and here and there will be a light here here and here so three on the front and that's that circuit uh, this one this switch right here will turn this light on which I don't have in yet it'll be a light just to kind of shine light on this whole thing and then there's plenty of other stuff I didn't do yet like this for up here this for the foyer um, off the attic switch right here so there's a lot more I need to do plus all the upstairs rooms so from what I have I'll show you basically to turn it on you move this thing sideways Oops, to the left and um, it's plugged into the wall right now and so if I turn these lights off um, as you can see you can see them shining through the top of the ceiling before I put the floor on above I'm gonna tape, tape some thick paper over this right here so that when you put the floor on above it the light won't shine through the floor and I did a good job with that on the last house um, so we'll come down here and look at it now this light's not turned on so this light switch does this room and that room back there so if you look at it like this that's that um, the garage is on like I said the two on this side the closer side on the garage aren't working yet so that'll be brighter this here is the kitchen slash breakfast area and it's on the other side of the wall so that turns that on and off and we have one underneath here and in the dining room and that switch is right inside here so you can do that that looks really neat and then you have this front room and the bathroom and there's a switch in there and if you want to see the front of the house I actually have to um and all, all the light you see is from the actual house I'm actually going under my table right now because there's wires in the way but all the light you see right now is from the house because it's actually almost pitch black in here except for my laptop um so nice and bright uh, the foyer will be even brighter when there's lights up here um, that's all lit up on the side same with the family room uh, I didn't do the lights in there yet didn't do the lights in the stairwell yet that's nice and bright going back and then like I said that left garage door but the right garage door is finished let's go on and off so as you can see we already have a lot of them done and it looks pretty much great so put it down here and that looks fantastic so it'll look really cool once the actual um, house is completed so that is the house and uh, the next thing I need to do is make sure everything works perfectly make sure the wires are where I want them to be glue down the lights Put the thick paper above the lights. Um, I need to do those two lights there and the light there. And then I can finish sheathing the floor. And that shouldn't take too long. I would say the next video will be up within the next two weeks. Um, and so that's that. And uh, thanks for watching.